What's up there? What's what's up there? Oh, I'm just going anyway. What's up? Um, this is Ice Pack here, and today we are playing Dungeon Defenders. Yep, so this is a really cool game on Steam. Uh, I spoke about it before in my last video, updates and stuff. Um, now I did intend to stop making videos until I got like a better graphics card or whatnot. But I decided this one, this game does run a fairly high FPS, and so I figured I might as well record it. So, yep. And if you'll notice, my voice is a bit crisper. That's because I've got a new mic. So, let's start, shall we? Play local. Now, I'm not going to create a new character, mostly because. That just means that like uh, the character is going to die really easily. So I'm going to go with this one, which was the same character that I played in the last the updates and stuff. Now we are going to start playing on the first mission that you get, which is the same mission that you get the tutorial. Now it's actually not the lowest level mission, uh, but it is the one that you start on for like the tutorial and whatnot. And that is Flounderies and Forges. This one is is like um, it was a bonus one. It did say bonus once upon a time. Now it's this one. So let's go. Right now, I hope the sound is loud enough. Isn't too loud for you guys. Right, so start off. I'll just run around, grab up some mana. Gimme, 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 some mana. I don't know. Don't ask me. Just don't. Okay? Why are you asking me? Stop. Stop asking me. Stop it. No, seriously. Stop. <laughs> Jump. I grab, 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 grab mana and stars. Right, so that's 200 mana. So let's see. Um, I have enough for two flame turrets and one magic missile. Actually, what I'll do is two magic missiles and then one, just one magic missile. Uh, six. Right now, the thing that I love most about this game is the upgrading and the like, all the different weapons in it. Like, <coughs> <coughs> there are tons and tons of weapons. Each of them comes with their own stats, upgrades, separate things, different parts, and whatnot. Animations like this game must be like it's four gig just to get to download the game, and there's only like a couple of maps or whatnot that you get so yeah I reckon it's and then you got your character upgrades pet upgrades all that other all that good stuff so I think it's a very good very good game very good game wow also it does have oh you know how on some games how multiplayer and single player nothing's different like no there's no different difficulty or enemies or whatnot. So like Magicka, take Magicka for example. You know, if you play it, you want to really do want to play it in multiplayer because single player is just ugh, really hard. Because of the amount of enemies, it doesn't change from multiplayer. So I'm going to run around here. Oh, what that? What's that? 
They have nothing on me. Like, uh, right now, this game's really easy. That's because these enemies are, like, super weak. But when you first start, even these enemies are hard to kill. Which is why I did want to start a bit... A bit leveled up. Where are they? Oh, straight ahead. Dead ahead. I don't even think my turrets have fired anything yet. Lol. Cause I'm that good. Really, it's all me. It's not because these guys are really weak or anything. <laughs> I don't know where you got that idea. Jeez. I mean, it's not like I told you. <laughs> also, you can get when at the end of a round, when there's all mana on the ground and whatnot, you go around and collect it, and it puts you in this thing called a mana bank. Now, what you use that mana for is for buying stuff. So, like on multiplayer, um. You can use that mana bank and you can go and you can buy like in hero shops, which is like other people's shop that are hosting the server, their shops. But also, it's like from the tavern, I'll show you that. Uh, the tavern guy, you can go and you can buy stuff in it. In the tavern. Yeah. And so, yep, that's what, their, that's what the mana bank is used for. But with all the little items on the ground, you can sell them, right? So, like, f new players, once they find out that, they go around and they collect all the items. But what they don't realise is that at the end, I mean, like, I've done it, because I was a noob once, I know. Shocking, but it's true. It's a, it's a part of me now. Nah. I tend to pick up games pretty fast. But yeah, like that, I was just going around picking up anything until someone said it all auto sells. And I was just like, oh. Well, why the hell am I picking up all this crap? Face palm. Right, so these a. So what I. All these are little towers, they're like the first tower that you get. They're magic missile towers. Now they do, no matter what, because no matter what different ability enemies have, they'll always do damage to them. Now with abilities, like, you can get enemies that have maybe like a fire aura around them or electricity or poison. And what that is, in what that means is that they're alert, they're immune to those elements. So like, for example, a fireball turret cannot shoot someone with the fire thing around them because they're immune to it. Right? So, same with the lightning. There's lightning ones, they're immune to it. This star, you now it's got little sparks on it, it's lightning. Um, so yep, and what this does, right, or what this, mm, what this does, it means that like, uh, you know, they can just come up and destroy stuff, but like, things like the knights one, which are all just brute force, they have no elements on them, they can just kill anything. And same with the magic missile turrets, right? They, when an enemy comes up, it'll, no matter what they have, it'll hurt and kill them. And now, that's where these mag- that's why, that what makes these magic blockades different. Because you get other blockades, well, you get two other blockades, the knights ones, which are just- you know, when they get hit, when the enemy hits them, they get hit, but it's not very effective. With these ones, it whatever, no matter what the enemy is, even if it's a bowman who's standing back, they shoot that, their power's wiped. So they no longer have that immunity to elements. Right? So that's why they're a magic blockade. They also work as a regular blockade, but... Hmm. Now, on this level, there's like a mini boss thing, because you get like actual bosses through it all, but on some levels you'll get ogres, or, you know, you might get another boss on some other level, I'm not sure. But on this one, you get an ogre at the end, 
and like the last wave. Now this, uh, the ogres are pretty difficult to overcome because they have, they do lots of damage, especially for like a new player. They do lots of damage, and they do, um, and they have a lot of health, right? So when, if you're a magician and you're just starting on this, you need to put like just like nine because the ogre if you don't if you attack him he'll follow you right but if you don't then he'll come here if you don't attack him and distract him he'll come here so you need to have like nine magic missile turrets or whatnot here just to stop him and it does get really tricky after a while now ogres depending on your difficulty or whatnot or actually like on the missions they tend to everything as you progress on the missions everything goes up in health right so you can get like 20,000 health ogres like a few missions after you get like these ones which is this one which is just a 6,000 health if I remember correctly but then you go even further and get like the max one and they've got like a hundred thousand health right now the thing about um, so yeah, that that's ogres, ex ogres, and some like general physics of the game explained. Um, the thing about this game is that it's really it can be really a repetitive game because, or a, sometimes a boring game, because what you have to do is you have to like uh, I don't know, you have to stop. How, how can I explain it? You have to, as the levels progress, they get harder, right? But you also level up, which gives you access to better drops. And the higher the level, the better drops you get. And the high, like the higher the level, like difficult, like uh, difficulty and like just up there type thing. Now the higher the level, the better drops you're gonna get. But you, if you're like a low level thing, if you're low level, like say only like nine or like five or whatnot, you won't be able to use, or even 14 like I am, you won't be able to use those drops because you're not high, a high enough level to be able to pick them up and use them. So you can just, all you can do is store them in your box until you level up. Now you actually level up slower than what the things, um, progress in difficulty right so you'll probably end up having to cut have to come back and start basically start again or not from like do the same levels a couple of times or start again if you're really low leveled or if the if the level's really hard you have to come back and start again simply because you don't have that level up or that ability to keep, you know, like, uh, because you'll start losing the level, the fights or whatnot. If you know what I'm trying to say, it's, why did I make another magic missile turret? Because I'm a genius. Self defense. Bam. Um, like, because your turrets and your blockades and whatnot, they're not tough enough to like fight the enemies with the massive health so you have to come back and level up even more and then go and do the level again right so that's what makes this more of a repetitive game and also with the build phrase and whatnot there's a lot of just waiting around for it for them to come you know like you can go and fight or whatnot but if you're too low leveled or whatnot I don't know how many times I said whatnot if you don't do enough damage, then, you know, you can't kill them. So they'll just come up and just keep hitting you, or you have to run away or whatnot. And that can make this game pretty boring. But, like, it does, especially on the lower levels, where you're too, where you're just starting out, you're too low-level low level to kill them, but it takes forever, because you have to just sit there waiting slowly for them to get to wherever the hell you've placed your towers. And which is generally like, you know, when you're starting out, you want to put them right up there 
so that you can so that you can run around and do as much damage or weaken them as much as you can. Now this may not be a good now this I don't know if it's a worse tactic than having your towers like at several intervals or whatnot. But because of with all these the paths, there's like, you know, there's not there's generally a bottle point around the crystal, but there's several other pathways, you know, to get to that bottle point. So if you block off you have to spend more mana, which you may not have and whatnot. You may may not have to go around and to fill up all those block points, like all those pathways, then to just bottle them up here. Now, however, if it's like a really big enemy, like an ogre, you know, it's going to be a lot harder to do that because of the fact that it's right near crystal. And, and like, the one, if the things do get past your defenses, you're screwed because you can't, you don't have any more time to put down defenses. So, you know, it's kind of a, you have to, like, the higher level you are, like, because I'm 14 here, my towers have a fair amount of strength about them. Like I said, I didn't want to just be dying the whole time, so I did start a bit higher. But, um, mm, money. So, like, you've got to get the balance between away from your crystal and bottle and bottlenecking them if you if you get what I'm trying to say so like the reason I've done them right there is because that is the easiest place to stop them like you could stop them here but why put two things here or have them right here right next to where they come out when you can just have one there and just run around and kill most of them anyway now this that tactic of you know having all the towers there that can like with the ogre because he's such a tough enemy it you can be very well just kicking yourself You're kicking yourself in the butt but it mm, like I said you just gotta play it right you gotta you know you gotta you gotta get it right So now, um, with the levels, there were those, like the two, the very first level and the very last level, they're bonus levels. So, or they were, before like an update or whatnot, they were just called bonus levels because they, like there's, I think it's, there's three bosses, so there's three sets of three levels, right? And so there, there's the three easy levels the three well there's the two there's two very easy levels so this one and then the next one or you know fairly easy each level has its own difficulty about it and then there's a boss level which is kinda hard and then there's the next two other levels which are you know pretty um, medium difficulty or whatnot then there's that boss level and then there's the two hard levels and then there's that boss level now that boss level ends the game but at the end, there's like, um, at the end of one level, there's, uh, how do I, how do I explain it? Come on, like, um, you know, at the end, at the very end, there's this bonus thing called glitter thing, glitter helms or whatnot, and it's really hard, you know? And that's what most people will go on that one on insane difficulty to get up to your like 74, 100, whatever, like huge, absolutely just ridiculous XP you get from it and mana and drops and items and etc, etc. Um, and they'll use that to level themselves up. But now here's the thing with doing that. Um, that is a bonus level and it's really hard, like it's the hardest level in the game. Now the very first level, the deeper well, it's the, it's by far the easiest level in the game. It doesn't have an ogre at the end or anything like this level, it's just a really noobish one, you know, you can just go through and do it easy as. 
Now, the reason I didn't want to do that is because, because, like, this level, it is a bit interesting with the ogre and whatnot at the end, and there is a fair amount of enemies coming. With that one, there's only a small amount of enemies, no ogre, really, it's just a really easy level, right? And those two extra levels, they don't, like, the reason they were called bonuses is because they weren't with the pattern of the three levels and then the next increased difficulty and then the last increased difficulty. Of course each level does go up in difficulty but you can really see the difference between say you know one in the what I like to call the uh, first tier and then one in the second tier you know there is a jump between that first boss level and then the second tier right all right so this is so this episode because of this well, relative easiness of this level this is just going to be excl explanation oh, i can't pronounce it sometimes i can't you'll get that with me but i won't be able to pronounce things so yeah you will get that you know i'll be ex in the boringer parts i'll be explaining stuff and most of the time it'll just be like on the, s on the spot thinking of something and then explaining it. And so that's probably why, and also I'm concentrating on the game as well, so that would be why it's like not exactly a good explanation. That's how you say it, yes. Uh. Sorry, just adjusting my headset. Wave complete. Right, so now I have two more waves, including this wave. That is. <sighs> Alright, so I just run around and collect all this mana. And then you can also upgrade things like turrets and yourself and like your weapons and your armor that you pick up. You don't actually see the armor that you picked up, but you have it there. Um, yep. So by upgrading my turrets, I'm upgrading their health, their our range, their speed, strength of their attack, all that stuff. And I think you can upgrade a turret. One, two, three, I think it's four times. No, five. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's five. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, and then once you've upgraded that five times, like if you're a fairly high level, like say I have a online character which is 72 his you just get a magic missile turret and that will ho like hold him off like really well you know but if you upgrade say like a fireball turret and then have a magic missile turret there with it it's an unstoppable duo because the magic missile turret will get any like the fireball turret it shoots slower than the magic missile or it's like oh, it's the second slowest turret that you can get but it does a heck of a lot of damage and it's a lot better than the striker turret in my opinion so you get one of them and you're like level 72 and you upgrade that to max it's just and then have a thing next to it it's unstoppable it's like huge amounts of dp of uh... dps or whatever it's called oh no this is the final wave okay. Right, so the ogre will be com coming out of. Oh no, yeah, this one. I'm coming out of here. So I'm just going to sit up here, doing some slight damage to the little poor people down there. They'll probably shoot me in the back in the end. Actually, I'm pretty. The ogre comes like near the end of it, so I'll just run around and kill them. Now, there's another thing that I like about this game, and that is most games they'll say that you're on level one. Right? When really actually you haven't, or, you know, like your turrets and whatnot, or your things that you might upgrade, it says that they start on level 1. Which, you know, and they still have no upgrade statuses, but they're still level 1. I've always found that a bit uh, annoying, or I just haven't liked it, like I'm a bit OCD about numbers or whatnot. But, um,. Ha 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 ha! 
hate those things. Oh, ogre. Jump. Jump. So you'll see. Heal up. Or not. Heal. That's he's got 14 health. So that was wrong, I guess. Either that or I'm playing on a difficulty which I haven't realized was higher than what I had intended to because I didn't check the difficulty. See, he does... Uh, oh, that's a bit bad. He also does that. Ow! She just he shoots out one of those balls every now and then. Now, see how he was walking the other way and now he's walking towards me? That's because of aggroed him, I guess you could say, towards myself. Oh, would you fuck off, you stupid come on, carty asshole. Come on, congrats all. Overcharge. This drains my mana really fast, but it also increases my spell charge. I have to run out of mana soon. Die! Here, grab his mana, heal up, and then back into the fight. Ow. So I've got him down to about half health. Now I can just sit back and let my turrets do the rest. Look at those beautiful fire turrets. See how it's got like 7,000 damage? You can upgrade them, and when you're like 72 or whatnot, they'll do like 5,000 damage per hit. Oh, maybe. That's if they're upgraded. Level up is available! Woo! <laughs> I need to upgrade my turret range. Now see how I'm collecting its stuff and how it's I've got 23,000 mana? That's the mana in my bank. Oh. So, let's see. I don't really want to upgrade my speed, but defense... Area of effect, that's five, six, five, six... That's four. So, I might just... That one. Let's upgrade my damage. Alright, cool. So that is all for this video. I'll just have them like one level is one episode or whatnot. And then, yeah. So that's all for now. This is Ice Pack here. Signing out. Goodbye.